After you've invoiced customers, they pay you. Great! Now you need to receive that payment in QuickBooks. To start receiving a payment, go to the Plus menu and choose Receive Payments. Then, choose the customer who paid you. Enter the date you got paid. Then choose how this customer paid you. For this video, we'll go with a check. For the reference number, enter the check number. Let's talk about where you deposit this money. When you receive payments that you're going to take to the bank to deposit in a group, choose the Undeposited Funds account. Undeposited funds is like a blue bank deposit bag you put your checks and cash into at the end of the day. It's just a place to hold the money until you deposit it into one of your accounts. If you have already deposited this payment, choose the account you deposited it to. Next, if QuickBooks is showing you an invoice for a customer that you've paid with this payment, check that invoice. Look at the amount. If it's what your customer paid you, great. If it's not, change it to the actual amount of money you received. If the customer didn't pay you the full amount of the invoice, QuickBooks will keep track of how much they still owe you. Click Save and New to save this payment and open a new form to enter another payment, or choose Save and Close if you're done. Now let's say you've gone to the bank and deposited a group of payments you put into undeposited funds. You need to record your deposit in QuickBooks. If you've grouped the payment with other checks by selecting Deposit to Undeposited Funds, they appear automatically on the deposit page. Check each payment that you deposited. Make sure the payment method is correct and that the reference number has the check number in it for each check payment. The total of this deposit, including all payments, should match the deposit slip or deposit receipt you filled out or got from the bank. Now QuickBooks knows that this deposit, which will show up as one line when it's downloaded from your bank, includes multiple payments. Click Save and Close if you're done recording deposits. Now it's your turn. Try receiving a recent payment from a customer in QuickBooks.